I have a particular loathing for missionaries. And I'll tell you why. I dabbled a little in Christianity around 16 years of age when my older sister converted me and took me to a casual but fundamentalist church. One night we had some missionaries that had just come up from South America, all puffed up with pride for saving a previously unknown Amazonian tribe. I was sitting in front and my first reaction was one of horror. I had been in love with sociology and culture since I was a child. The speaker saw the expression on my face and said, No, some people think it's wrong to try to change these people. Why can't you just let them live their lives and be happy? Well, they weren't happy. Not really. They bickered a lot. Looking back, I do recall him turning away at that point. A telltale sign he wasn't exactly being honest. But at the time, I told myself, oh, well, what do you know? You know, you're only 16. Well, these people, well, they're experts. I also noticed that the speaker's voice was hoarse, like he was just getting over a cold. As I watched the slideshow, I just couldn't help but think, this cannot be God's will. I went home feeling very bad. The images of the happy little faces just kept haunting me as I tried to fall asleep. Now, fast forward about 30 years, I was on break at work and picked up an old National Geographic about keeping non-contacted tribes uncontacted. An environmentalist worked feverishly hard keeping the loggers and missionaries away from them. It was a, an important part of saving the rainforest. There was a little side story about this man's companion, an Amazonian whose tribe had been nearly completely wiped out by the common cold about 25 years previously from missionaries. He was born shortly afterward. I didn't catch the connection right away, but I did find the story very compelling and I just talked about it obsessively. Then someone had asked me if I'd been saved. Oh well, yes, a few times since you know, different churches had different ideas what it meant to be saved. I stopped to think about the different churches that I had been saved in and <laughs> I started hyperventilating. Oh, <laughs> don't tell me that this was the same tribe that I read about in the article. Oh, I didn't pay attention to the name of the tribe when I read it. Well, of of course, I couldn't find the damn magazine to save my life. Well, I finally did, and oh, oh my god, it was. It was the Monty tribe. Here, that asshat had, was all puffed up with pride for saving this tribe, and he could have been the very one that killed them. He was getting over his cold. At the same time, they were dropping like flies from theirs. I looked online for anything else I could find about them. Nearly two-thirds of their population was wiped out. But they came back. Nearly now at the same number as before. Mostly a young population, and they have since converted back to their own religion and claimed to be very happy.